So now let us try to multiply a binomial with a trinomial. So let's see how fast you can multiply them. You have 10 seconds. Start. So now let me do it. x times x square is x cube. 3x square plus 2x square is 5x square. 2x plus 6x is 8x. And the last term would be 2 times 2. That is 4. So the final answer would be x cube plus 5x square plus 8x plus 4. Let's check that out. There it is x cube plus 5x square plus 8x plus 4. Now, could you get it? Well, if you got it, then please pat your own back because you are simply doing a great job. And if you could not get it, not to worry at all because you know in few minutes from now, you will be able to do these type of questions in few seconds. The usual way to multiply a binomial with a trinomial is that, that you expand this whole expression, okay? That is, first you multiply with this x all the other three terms of the other expression. And then do the same thing with this 2. Okay. So, as you must have guessed that indeed we need to do lot many steps. So, be prepared. Now, I am just separating it. x times this whole expression. x square plus 3x plus 2. Now, write this plus 2 there. And copy this expression once again x square plus 3x plus 2 okay this was the first step now in the second step you have to multiply x with these three terms so x times x square would be x cube x times 3x would be 3x square and x times 2 would be 2x now similarly multiply this 2 with these three expressions 2 times x square would be 2x square, 2 times 3x would be 6x and this would be 2, 2 times is 4. Now arrange the like terms together and add them. So we don't have any other term that looks like x cube. So just put x cube as it is. Now put 3x square and 2x square together. So 3x square plus 2x square. Similarly put 2x and 6x together. So, 2x plus 6x. These are like terms, of course. Now, 4 is written as 4. Now, simply add the like terms. So, x cube, 5x square. And 2x plus 6x would be 8x. And this is 4. Question solved. Well, in case you are thinking that these are too many steps to write down, then you can absolutely feel happy for the simple reason that I'm going to make you fly from this step to this step directly. To multiply a binomial with a trinomial the faster way, we will be using the same technique that we used to multiply a binomial with a binomial with just slight modification. So like we always do, multiply the first term with the first term to get the first term of our answer. x times x squared is x cube. Now, leave two blank spaces instead of one. And like we always do, multiply the last term with the last term to get the last term of our answer. Positive 2 times positive 2 is positive 4. Now, we have two middle terms for which we are going to use that same old rainbow multiplication. But we'll be doing it twice. Once for this and the second time for this term. So let's name this first middle term as first. And this last middle term as last. Now, to find the first middle term, we just have to do the rainbow multiplication on the first two terms of this expression and the first two terms of this expression. This is 3x square plus 2x square, which is 5x square. Now just one more term to go. Now as you must have guessed, to get the last term, we would be doing the rainbow multiplication 
on the last two terms of these expressions. This is 2x plus 6x which is 8x question solved. That's it. In just one line, we multiplied a binomial with a trinomial. And we can very quickly verify our answer as well. So just do the operations on the coefficients. 1 plus 2 is 3 times 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 plus 2 is 6 and 3 6 times is 18. So if the coefficients of our answer also add up to 18 then our answer is absolutely correct. Let's check it out. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 8 is 14 and 14 plus 4 is right 18. That means our answer is absolutely correct. So from now on you'll be not only multiplying these type of algebraic expressions effortlessly in no time but you'll never be making a calculation error as well. So using the same easy cal trick now let us try to multiply this two digit number with this three digit number. I'm sure you can do it very easily now. So please don't let me down. Your time starts now. So now let me do it. Multiply the first digit with the first digit to get the first digit of the answer. Now leave two blank spaces. Now multiply the last digit with the last digit to get the last digit of the answer. And with that we have locked the answer. So now we just need to find two more digits and we are done. Now as you know to find the first middle digit we just have to do the rainbow multiplication on the first two digits. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Now to find this last middle digit we just need to do the rainbow multiplication on the last two digits. This is 6 plus 2 that is 8. Question solved. The answer is 6784. So tell me now isn't that incredible that with these simple easy cal tricks you are not only mastering the algebra but without any extra effort, you are mastering the usual mathematics as well. 